This is the 2020 GMC Sierra 2500 HD and this is the Denali trim level. Today with, with our friends at Snell Motors, Buick GMC Cadillac dealer in beautiful Mankato, Minnesota. Hey folks, I'm Rob. And I'm Nathan. And we are Two, Two Guys, Guys in a Ride. And today, Nathan, we've got a 2020 GMC Sierra 2500 HD Crew Cab Denali Full Wheel Drive. Is that it? Try saying that three times <laughs> in a row fast. I'm, I'm, I think, I'm hoping I got it right the first time. <laughs> so if you're new to our channel and you like to know all about new cars, trucks, and SUVs, and you want to find out about all the technology that uh, comes on them nowadays, and you like cool collector car stories, take a moment to hit that subscribe button below and hit that notification bell at the top so you never miss a video. There you go. So what do you say, Nathan? Let's, Let's go, go for, for a ride. ride. Right, you know, getting despite the size, getting into it, it has fixed running boards on the outside, yep. so it's easy to step into. The door openings are wide enough that it's it's very comfortable getting in the front or the rear. And, and the grab handles, they're ch just chunky and huge. They're, they're, they're enormous. We'll get pictures of that, but wow. So getting in, I mean, there's your assist handle to get in. Yep, and they're in the back too. Yeah. So in terms of uh, how everything is laid out in here, it's easy to see yeah. visually. Uh, you don't have to move your eyes very far at all. I love the heads up display. I think it's going to be one of my favorite things. Right. It's like a 15 inch display. It is the biggest wow. HUD display I've ever seen. Wow. Um, and it is really clear and really nice. Uh, easily adjustable for depending on your height. Now, despite it being a huge pickup, um, parking it with the with the 360 camera is is easy to do. the display I like everything in the center stack it's all very smartly laid out I like that and your visibility out of the front oh yeah it's really good that I mean it's kind of got that power dome hood yeah it's got that big um, wide just but it but the dashboard is horizontal so it gives you a lot of right it's it's it, you, you have good visibility mm -hmm. All right, I'm going to pull over here and let Rob get out <laughs> so I can leave without him. And I can let drive, just get out. <laughs> yeah, I'm not, not letting you drive, just letting you out. I, may tell you, I could get used to this. You like that heads up oh. display? No, I like the whole truck. Wow. Oh, yeah, that's cool too. Oh, man. Oh, I thought maybe you had just speed. You've got. No, I've, I've got it set up. You've got yeah, tilting got angle up. Uh, forward, incline, incline um, tipping you, angle, all wheel drive. Yep, and then when you're playing music, when it's it switches showing to the it, next track, that'll show up too. Your navigation can show up turn by turn direction. Okay, yeah. I'm wow, I'm and, mesmerized with just all this. It's showing me now I'm on a one percent incline. That's so cool. Okay, um, that would be dangerous for me because I'd be sitting here playing with just the screen and not looking out forward be like okay let's see how, how 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 big of a climb i can do this time man i'll tell you the back seats are are very comfortable and as typical in a, in a you know a four-door pickup yeah i've got like a foot of room between my knees and the in the back of the seat
Okay, I've got to tell you something, Nathan. You are quite a bit back there. Yeah. But listen, you and I are at a dinner party conversation level. And we hear each other very well because of the quietness in this vehicle. Yeah, you you, you actually can hear quite well. <laughs> I just, oh I mean, my that's gosh. Weird. So, you know, there are a lot of safety systems on this. And one of the things I'm looking at right now, I saw someone who passed me just a few minutes ago. But if I go over and encroach upon the lane, so you got the lane departure, um, <laughs> I got a vibration in the bolster of the seat. And I've got the little yellow light on the heads up display that's letting me know I'm over there. Plus, of course, you know, when someone comes up on my on either side, I've got the um, the mirrors will light up and let me know someone's encroaching upon my blind spot area. Plus, it's got anti lock brakes, it's got uh, driver's assist packages, you name it. Nathan will cover all that in just a little bit. Um, and also, one of the cool things that it has is it has a distance sensing feature. And it'll show up in your HUD. If you get up behind the car, yeah, I noticed it'll that. actually show, the car will show up in your HUD display. Yeah. Okay. Uh, the other thing is definitely, you know, we talked about the acceleration. Now, with this 10-speed uh, uh, transmission, uh, it holds you in the power band of this engine. So it won't allow you to actually go over 3,000 RPMs. It keeps you in the power band constantly, which is really cool. Um, you know, then we talk about looking at the rest of it, looking at the inside and everything, the fit and finish. Wow. Very nice. Wow. Now you'd expect, I mean, it is a top dollar truck. It's $78,000 this one lists out at Nathan, but yeah. it's, it's hard to imagine because it is a dedicated, purpose-built work, heavy duty vehicle. But you sit in this interior and I swear you feel like you're going to the opera or the theater or whatever. You don't feel like you're going to dig ditches that day. No. This is a 2020 GMC Sierra 2500 HD crew cab. And this one is the Denali trim package starting at 78,000, actually stickered at 78,155. Now it is powered by the 6.6 .6 liter V8 turbo diesel with 445 horsepower, 910 pound feet of torque has a 3.73 rear axle, and it's paired with an Allison 10-speed automatic transmission. Also comes with, a, with an external engine oil cooler. Now up front, you see there are LED reflector headlights with LED turn signals and LED signature daytime running lights. You also have, you don't see them, they're not on right now, but it is the C-shaped LED headlight uh, with the signature lighting and the innovative light blade technology. And down below, we also have the LED fog lights. Up front, you have the body colored uh, front bumper, and you also have the chrome, dual chrome vertical recovery hooks. And down below, we'll show you a picture of that. You can see the front edge, but we, you do have the uh, skid plates. And of course, this being the Denali trim, you have the signature Denali grill with high gloss black mesh and chrome inserts and it's absolutely beautiful and it's absolutely in your face i love it up top we've got the smoke amber led roof marker lamps okay and we have the 20 inch multi-dimensional polished aluminum wheels and they are wrapped in uh, lt 275 60r20 all-terrain black wall tires this vehicle also does have Four wheel anti lock brakes, and uh, you'll see on the other side it does have the di the uh, fuel filler. And what I like is they put the uh, the uh, DEF stuff for the diesel in the same under the same cap as well. You do also have an automatic locking rear differential, and this vehicle does have a fully boxed frame with a hydroform front section. Now it also comes with uh, digital variable steering assist has an off-road suspension. And I know Nathan was playing around with that earlier, trying to find the different uh, uh, driver road modes, and he did find the off-road suspension on all the buttons. Uh, it does have the integrated trailer brake controller, remote start, chrome mirror caps, and it also has the outside power adjustable vertical trailering mirrors <laughs> with power folding, and Nathan was playing with this, we'll show you this, with power folding, extending, and auto dimming. They're also heated, the upper glass part, and uh, they had the integrated turn signals, uh, indicators, and of course the puddle lamps as well. 
Taking a look down the side, you do have chrome door handles. I like that. It's a Denali trim thing. You've got the chrome surround as well. Uh, you have the um, chrome fixed steps. And one of my favorite things here is this side bed step. It's really cool. Very easy for getting things up inside the bed that have rolled up front. Now on the wheel housings, we've got a picture of this. We'll show you they do have wheel liners, uh, wheel housing liners. Uh, out back, the cargo bed is rolled formed high strength steel and the tailgate and bed cap have protection caps on them as well. Out back, you've got the tailgate with easy lift assist, power lock and release. And this is the GMC Multi Pro tailgate. Nathan, you wanna push some buttons and show us what that does? There you go, that's your regular soft lowering. And then you've got your step there as well. Tailgate, so Nathan, show us how that all folds back up and goes back together. Okay. Wow, that's pretty cool. Okay. Now this does have hitch area lighting. There is a light that comes on when you turn the other exterior lights on that will shine down here so you can see what's going on in the hitch. And you do have, as well, you have the spray on bed liner. And there is, and we've got a picture of that, the LED cargo lighting has a spare tire carrier lock. Uh, again, out back, you can see it does have the body colored rear bumper. You have 12 cargo tie downs that, that are fixed and rated at 500 pounds per cargo tie at each corner. And you do have one of my favorite features, the rear corner step uh, on the bumper. Now the cargo volume in here is 69.5 cubic feet. The cargo box floor is 82.2 inches. And then you've got the cargo box width at the top is 71.4 inches. And then of course the cargo box width at the wheel housings is 51.85 inches. And you see the little cutouts where you can lay uh, two by fours or two by sixes to be able to do a double stack height. Now the cargo box height is 21 inches tall. Now you see in here, it is uh, set up for a fifth wheel. So if you've got a gooseneck, uh, the maximum fifth wheel gooseneck uh, trailering capacity is 18,500 pounds. And the conventional trailering capacity is also 18,500 pounds. Maximum payload is 3,862 pounds. Overall wheelbase is 158.94 inches. Overall length, 250.8 inches. Height, 79.82 inches. Width, 81.85 inches. And it does have a ground clearance of 12.12 inches. Gross vehicle weight, 10,650 pounds. So it's pretty big, folks. And it does have a 36 gallon fuel tank. However, being the size of this vehicle, it isn't, it, we don't have fuel mileage ratings. Okay, now on safety, National Highway Traffic and IIHS have not yet rated this vehicle. I gotta imagine this thing will drive over everything. So if you hit it, you're just gonna bounce off. Uh, performance, zero to 60 in 6.5 seconds. Appearance, big, bold, brash, and tough. GMC. There you go, professional grade. Dependability, uh, again, professional grade, GMC. It does come with a five year, 60,000 uh, mile powertrain warranty. And then there's the rust through warranties and other warranties, bumper to bumper. Uh, so just check the GMC website for that uh, again. And then on the economy, uh, not yet rated, but you're using this as a work vehicle. So you're not cruising down the highway as I usually do with the economy button on trying to get the most fuel mileage out of it. You're going from job site to job site. You're hauling heavy equipment, you're hauling uh, hay bales, you're hauling uh, campers, you're hauling horse trailers, all those things. So you're not too worried about the fuel mileage. You just know that whatever you wanna pull, this baby will do it. So up next, Nathan is gonna take you for a tour of the inside and show you all the cool technology, all the lights, all the cameras, and all the action that's built into this vehicle. So all right, Nathan, take it away. Come on, folks, let's take a look. Stepping on to the inside here, uh, we've got plenty of storage in the uh, po bottom pockets of the door. You do have uh, power up and down, auto, or auto up and down windows for the front. And then this is your uh, power folding mirror right here. You can see that. 
And then this is your mirror extender for when you're trailering. I really like that. The, uh, the top portion of the mirror is powered. The bottom portion is not, uh, but you can manually adjust it by reaching out and just kind of pushing on it. And uh, this also does have uh, the blind spot warning system right in the car. And not only does it sense cars right next to you, but it sense cars that are rapidly approaching your area on the blind spot. You got your lock on lock buttons. You've got a two person uh, memory seating. You've got your easy exit button. Okay, uh, 10 way power seats here, including two position lumbar. Nice leather seats here. They are heated and ventilated. Down here, you've got your electronic parking brake button. All right, so this here, it would be your auto lights, uh, but this up here turns your uh, auto high beam and low beams on. Uh, it comes with, uh, it has fog lamps here. This is your exterior light set. Uh, it lights up on the, the front and back of your mirror. Uh, lights up uh, the hitch in the back, as well as gives you some uh, uh, front lighting off of the headlights. So really, it's like a 360 degree around the truck lighting because the truck, uh, the bed lights come on as well. Uh, so it's really nice for working around the truck at night. Uh, this is, of course, your control for dimness and brightness on your dashboard. And then up here is your four-wheel drive system here. So you got auto, four high, four low, and two-wheel drive. And then so you just simply click the wheel, let it, uh, it'll show the mode and you just let the button be and it will uh, switch into that mode. This vehicle does come with uh, the trailering option and the trailering, the in-vehicle trailering app. And I'll, I'll show you where that is in a minute. Uh, but you just click here and it puts you in uh, tow mode. All right, uh, up here is your HUD display buttons. Okay. And you basically can, can push the HUD up or down. You can change the info in there and you can change the brightness or the dimness of the screen. So here's the push button start. And I, 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 uh, I just gotta stop from it. I like it when gauges move when you start the car, truck up. Um, this uh, is the same driver's information system and infotainment system that we covered. Whoops that we covered in the uh, 1500 GMC here that we did. So if you want more information on exactly what uh, is contained in here or in the infotainment screen, um, go check out that video. Moving on over to the infotainment screen. Um, you do have this nice brushed aluminum looking uh, trim piece. And then you've got the, um, it's almost like a satin chrome. I mean, it's really interesting. It's a nice look. Um, you do have a uh, uh, eight inch display screen here, um, but you should know that it comes with Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. It comes with navigation. And let's go to the camera. Okay, in this display, you're gonna see the three, you have the 360 display. You've got the dynamic guidelines that swivel. You can then of course change, this is the front view. And then if I click back one more, I get the back view. I just love all these options in here. This is magnifying. Oh, this goes up above and then to the back above. So it's a, it's a straight up view. Um, and then down here, you've got it kind of got a whole looking backwards view. And that one, that's the only button that thing it does. Over here, you've got the side views of your right tire and your left tire, your um, left okay. side. So this would be the, like the right side of the truck and the left side of the truck. Uh, looking from the front to the back, and this is looking from the back to the front. Okay, this is just, it's interesting, but that is, that's like your front left tire and your front right tire. Okay, this one kind of gives you the whole, um, really squished, but sort of a 360 look around. Okay, so now if I want to, if I put it in reverse, you notice that this one lights up. So here I've got uh, the dynamic guidelines and I can have those on, right? I can see them or I can switch and just have a hitch view. But you do have to be in reverse for that one to work. It leaves you a hitch guideline. Now, there's a few more things I want to show you about the camera. Okay, your hitch camera. So this is for your fifth wheel hitch, but you can also use it just to check your cargo bed. Okay. Then back here, 
you get a very magnified view of your hitch. You can actually see it hanging out right there. Uh, so just uh, incredible. Now, not only that, however, you can also, and it won't light up now because we don't have a trailer hitched up, but you can see in the back there's two separate hookups, and we show them, I'll, I'll show them now. Um, and these two hookups are for extra cameras. One hooks into your trailer on the inside camera, one hooks to the rear camera of the trailer, and yes, your trailer does have to be equipped with an inside and outside camera for this to work. Uh, but quintessentially, you can check the inside of your trailer and you can check the back of your trailer. So just phenomenal options as far as cameras go on this thing. Just incredible. All right. You do have a few physical controls. You've got power on and volume. You've got a select button you can rotate through here, and then you can hit the select button here. You've got a fast forward, rewind, or a skip a station, go back a station. You've got the home button here, and then you, of course, have a back button. This is not a button right here. Down here, you this is dual zone climate control. Okay, moving down here, you've got uh, two stage heated seat, or you have three stage heated seats, but they're in two different positions. So this one does the back and the bottom of your seat this one does just the back and then the uh, bottom part of your seat is ventilated three stage and that is true for both sides in the front okay looking down here at all these awesome buttons down here because i am a guy that likes buttons so you've got your exhaust brake right here you've got your lane keeping assist here uh, if the lights are off the system is off parking assist you do have front and rear parking assist automatic tailgate release um, you have your hazards, trash control. This button will turn on the 120 volt three prong outlet in the rear of the truck in the bed. Okay, I do like how they put some different lights on that. I like that. This is your hill descent control right here. All right, moving down here. Here's your trailer brake setup right here, and you have you can make all your adjustments right there. It does have two USB ports, a standard and a, a USB-C type. It has a 12-volt outlet and a 120-volt three-prong household outlet. Down here, one of my favorite features is we do have the uh, wireless charger right here. And it works great. These two plugins, by the way, will uh, work for Android Auto or Apple CarPlay. Down here, you've got some cup holders and a little extra storage in the middle. Moving over here, we have got the center uh, armrest. It is really big, which, uh, again, I like. Uh, and then the release button is right here. Pull it up, and you have got, oh, boy, a huge amount of space in here. So right down here, you've got, again, two USBs and the SD card and a 3.5 millimeter jack input. You do have, these are, um, uh, this is, oh, I know what this is. This is your heat, uh, your engine heater cable. So this end here plugs into the side fender and I have a shot of that. And then you just plug it into an extension cord or straight into your outlet if you're close enough. Then, then uh, let's see. Just a lot of storage. Right now, there's just the driver's manuals in here. You do have a nice little light right here that illuminates everything for you. Okay, moving over to the glove compartment. You have two of them. So this one opens up. It's a small storage area, but it is built down. So you can kind of see where my... Let me get my... So, you know, get about that much depth. So pens, pencils, something simple like that. You know, small boxes of Kleenex would work fine. A pair of gloves. Then down here you have your regular glove compartment. That's part of your hitch attachment in there. Uh, overall, I really like this. You have soft touch materials just like everywhere. Um, it's, it's really nice. Uh, even up here on the on the door pieces, they're soft touch. But the only hard plastics are like right in here, right on the dashboard right here. And even this has a softer touch. It's almost a rubbery touch. Kind of interesting. Uh, and then, of course, hard surfaces right in here. I do love the the storage pockets that are on either side uh, down here because I like, you know, I like using that. Okay, uh, up here we also have 
a digital rear view mirror. So this operates again by simply flicking the switch. Now it's a normal mirror. Now it's a digital mirror. Underneath here, you have three buttons. This one is like a menu button. So if I push it once, I can zoom. I push it once, I can make the brightness change. Push it twice, I can do a little zooming. Push it three times, I can tilt it. Okay, so here we go. I'll just show you quick. So here's the brightness. Then I use these two buttons right here. So if I go down here, okay, it dims the mirror a little bit. Okay, if I go to the next button, I can do a little bit of zooming. I'm already zoomed in all the way, but I can zoom out and zoom in. And then if I push it one more time, I can actually tilt the mirror as to the direction that I'm seeing, which is really nice. All right? Up here, you do have your home link control. You do have your power rear window button right here. You have your sliding button here for your sunroof. You got your tilt button for your sunroof. And then over here, of course, you can set your dome lights as, so they come on or off uh, with the doors open or not. And then uh, over here, you can just turn them all on or all off. And they are LED. Okay. And then you got your uh, OnStar safety systems right there. Both visors are backlit okay, with lights. And they are, of course, telescoping on both sides. All right, let's take a hop on the uh, passenger side real quick, and then we'll go in the back. And on the passenger side here, you've got your standard lock unlock buttons. You've got your auto up and down window. And again, the same massive storage under uh, the bottom side of the door. 10-way power seats, heated and ventilated. And there's that nice side pocket storage I, that I was talking about that I really like. All right, let's take a look at the back. Put into the back here, you've got this uh, quite a bit of the same storage. It's not quite as big as a front door, but it is. these are big doors. Um, you know, still got the nice uh, sort of wood grain finish and you got your uh, windows. Now these windows are expressed down and, uh, but it, you have to hold the switch to go up. Uh, back here you have just oodles and oodles of room. Okay, you do have the uh, typical storage you've seen in GMC. So we've got uh, the back of the seat storage here. And you've got an identical one on that side. And then the seats just simply pull up. There's no lever. And you've got your jack and some other equipment down here. Let me just pull this one up. There's your uh, attachments for your jack to crank up. And then you've got stores all the way along underneath the seat. Okay. Back here, you do have heated outboard seats. So the far left and far right seats are heated. You again have the two USB ports, one C and one regular, and they are charge only. And then over here, you have a 12 volt outlet. And there is so much leg room, as I was stating during our drive, that it's almost just, uh, it's close to a foot. Where am I? There I am. Okay, just lots and lots of room. Okay, and as far as uh, headroom goes, again, your head is sitting in the side of this uh, sort of built-in pocket, and I have three inches, something like that. Just plenty of room. So, so absolutely spacious uh, in the back of these uh, uh, pickups. All right, and then the final thing is we have a center armrest here, and you have dual cup holders, kind of the same configuration as the front. And a little extra storage right here. All right, we hope you enjoyed this review. Again, if you want to see more information on the infotainment screen or the driver's information center, uh, please see our uh, infotainment video uh, from the GMC 1500s here that we did a while ago because they're the same systems. Thanks for watching. All right, my favorite thing is here under the infotainment screen. If I go down here, it's the cam it's all the camera things. Okay, so my favorite thing on this vehicle, I love it, absolutely, it's so cool, they really thought this through, is right down here. This is the port that you plug in uh, with the adapter for your engine block heater, and that's tucked around on the front side instead of the old uh, orange extension cord hanging through the grill. I absolutely love that. That's my favorite detail thing on this vehicle. Hey folks, I'm Brad Pitt. And I'm George Washington. And we are... Four guys and a horse. <laughs>
Don't go back in here. This is where you get lost. Too late. 